Welcome my beautiful Leos, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kim Enchantress, I'm here to do your Lenormand scope for June 2019. Now as I was shuffling the cards here Leo, I was picking up on a particular couple that's come to the um, channel for, for guidance and this is a male and a female and also I was picking up on a same-sex relationship so because it's a general reading it could be two females two males so take it in your situation now I'm feeling some kind of childish behavior or uh, immaturity going around with an individual and this could be a Sagittarius coming across as friendly but being a little bit immature now the cards that I fell out for you in the Lenormoscope was the man, the fish and the clover. So this could be a businessman who freelances here with the fish, um, a bit of an entrepreneur but he has a lot of energy and he represents the planet Mars because uh, the man in the Lenormand deck is the planet Mars. Now he could be um, a Gemini here for some of you with the fish. And this is a person also, who also comes across lively and versatile. So he's a bit of an opportun uh, opportunistic individual, but a very lucky man here with the clover. And now there is some good fortune around this person. Now, in the past here, we have um, the moon, the woman, and the key. So what this is telling me, this is uh, about females' emotions in the past. So... If there's a, a same-sex relationship this is the more feminine couple in the relationship or well, this is a woman's creativity and feelings now she could be a cancerian also uh, she's very traditional and protective of herself and this is a gut feeling that she's getting and an important sign that this person has received from um, spirit it's a significant feeling uh, because we have the key here which is the um, north node or the sun and this is luck that has come into your astro, um, astro sign at the time of your birth so this is about ego and identity so this is um, a soulmate connection and this is a very important woman here for you Leo now in the past we have the moon and the man so basically the man and the moon sometimes these cards are as blunt as that but this is a male's feelings also maybe the start of feelings towards this um, woman and uh, in a romance kind of way and a creative kind of way maybe this is um, both of you being creative but having that lucky instinct that's coming through and uh, because of clovers in the reading but this is having loving feelings of joy and happy emotions and maybe you, uh, as a couple you're doing visual art together and because the bouquet represents Jupiter this is the house of expansion and happiness so this is a man who is very handsome charming and pleasant so um, what has possibly already happened for you is um, got the bouquet the child in the reading this is possibly childlike pleasures and positive new start and you will make progress because I've got the stalk in the reading here now this could also represent an Aries but there's definitely um, an invitation to a child's birthday or an invitation for a new beginning but definitely um, about progressing forward here Leo now we have uh, what could be um, oh, this could also be um, you participating in the dating game for the first time it's totally new for you here Leo and um, maybe this is um, a birth announcement too here because the child is in the reading some of you getting a birth announcement and um, there's a new start that's going to improve things now what the um, outcome or the near future could be is I'm feeling that like there's some fated luck coming here um, because at the time of your birth this was um, in the stars for you here Leo <coughs> excuse me and um, I feel like this significant good fortune on the way but definitely a fresh new starts coming and this fresh new start is needed it's a fated new beginning 
So things will start to improve for you. Now I have pulled um, at the bottom of the deck the man, I'll pop them up here, the scythe and the whip. Now this is advice or an outcome for you, but I d definitely feel a man is making a quick decision based on discussions that you've been having. This will be a tough decision and this could be about eliminating yourself from a competition. Now for some of you that are competitive and are in the sports field, um, this could be about a competition with words or in a sporting event of some kind. Now I didn't want to leave you up in the air with that, so I've pulled an extra card here. And with the whip and the bear in the reading, this is definitely about yourself because the bear is about um, your appearance, your image, your identity. It's in the first house of self. So this could be you having financial struggles or working out as a personal trainer. So there is some quick decision that you're going to do. So maybe you've got romantic feelings about a person. 